Good morning, boys and girls. It's caterpillar time. Look, our caterpillars are growing so, so much. Look, let me measure. This caterpillar, see this great big one? This caterpillar is, let's look and see, almost two and a half centimeters long. I think this one up here is even longer because see how he's curled around? They are growing so, so much. Wow. I have a problem. And I was telling Kai about it. Shout out to Kai. We had our conference this morning. And I was telling Kai that um, my caterpillar who's been helping me with circle time is missing. I don't know where he went. So I don't know if my puppy dog chewed him up or what. So I'm going to try to figure it out. You guys can help me figure it out when I post circle time in a little bit. But in the meantime, I thought I would read this book to you on our caterpillar video today. It's called From Caterpillar to Butterfly by Deborah Halligman. And this is a painted lady butterfly. And this is a drawing of what our caterpillars look like. If you look at them close up, you'll see they're kind of striped like that. So, from caterpillar to butterfly. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Now look, theirs is eating leaves, but ours, remember, the leaves are all crunched up here in the bottom for special caterpillar food. Well, if I can get the page turned. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards but we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. The change is called metamorphosis. Can you say that big word? Metamorphosis. Look, they're keeping journals, just like I encouraged you to keep a journal and draw a picture of the caterpillars each day. Isn't that cool? They do journaling in their classroom like we do. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. See all the tiny eggs? The egg is tiny. It's the size of a pinhead. So if you think about a pen, you'll have to have your mommy and daddy explain to you what a pen is. A pen is something you use in sewing. And the head of the pen is about a little bit bigger than the tip of your pencil. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry and it ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. The mother butterfly is smart. She lays her eggs on the plants that the caterpillar needs to eat. These are called host plants. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat, so it will grow and grow and grow. The caterpillar is also called larva. It is the larva stage of the metamorphosis life cycle of the butterfly. Each day when we come to school, we look at our caterpillar and each day it gets bigger and bigger. The caterpillar eats and eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. So this is day six of our caterpillars and they were already out of their egg whenever I got them in the mail. So we might be on day like nine or 10, so we have a few more days to go. Our skin grows with us on our body, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back and the caterpillar crawls right out of its old skin and it has a new skin already growing underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times before it becomes a butterfly. Well, after many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than it was when it came to school at first. 
it's almost as big as my little finger now. Look, the children are curious. They're checking out the caterpillars. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a little button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Ours will hang upside down from this special paper. Do you see this special paper? This special cloth that's on top of the jar. Well, I'm going to stop with our book because this is where our caterpillars are right now. They're getting bigger and bigger and they're getting ready to make their chrysalis. Not yet, though. So I'm not going to read the rest of the book. We're going to wait a couple of days to finish this book and see what happens. So this book is all about the painted lady butterfly. That's the kind of butterflies that we are growing in our caterpillar jars. So caterpillar day six. Check in with me later for circle time. I have some fun books about caterpillars and then another one about a pig who gets really messy just because I like it and I thought it'd be fun. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.